Alright everybody, this is Eternal Blade here and welcome back to our Christmas Ornament Tutorial Part 3. So today we'll be covering the basic textures of our scene. So we basically have three main ones, the velvet, uh, the ornament colors, the um, top little gold pieces, and just this simple back piece. So let's jump right in. So the first thing we want to do is press M on our keyboard to bring up the Slate Material Editor. And we'll just make it a little bit bigger just so we can sort of see what's going on. And we're going to want to use a V-Ray material, okay? So double-click your material, double-click the little image there to make it bigger, and we'll call this um, Velvet, okay? So for the diffuse color, uh, this is probably one of the most important steps, we're going to want to use a standard and a falloff map. This will give it kind of that, um, you know, it goes from dark to light sort of based on the angle of the camera. And inside of here, what we're going to want to do is simply choose a very dark, a dark red for this color, okay, and then sort of a little, a little lighter red uh, here, so something about this, okay, and that will be perfect. And then what we want to do is uh, go back into our main material here and make sure your glossiness is set at one, okay. Uh, index of refraction, you can leave all that basically the same, and we want to do a bump map, okay. Now what I've done is I've actually just Googled velvet images, okay? And you're gonna to wanna to find any of them that's black and white, like this one is perfect. Just find your image like this, and I actually chose one that looks, I believe it's that same one, yes. I just chose it and downloaded it. Now what we're gonna do, so, is just go to your bump map, standard, bitmap, and we're gonna to navigate to that image, okay? And we'll give it a slight bump. Now this image is pretty big, so what we're going to want to do for that is simply um, sort of make it a bit smaller here. So go into your tiling, and let's give it a tiling of 5. This will really even out uh, the bumps. You can't really see it too much here, but it, it'll um, really help us in the long run. Now assign this to your velvet, okay? And for fall off, uh, you can just press Show Shaded Material in Viewport. It'll turn sort of red. And there we go. So that's our velvet material, real quick. Uh, next, what we're going to want to do is create the Christmas ornament material. So this is actually going to utilize a V-Ray blend material. So let's drag out a V-Ray blend material here. And what this does is it blends two materials together. You know, pretty, pretty simple. So the first thing is we're going to want to make uh, the base layer. So let's get a V-Ray material. Okay, make it sort of bigger. Click on it, and we'll call this um, ornament base. So first, let's select the main color of our ornament. So this one will be a blue ornament, okay? You can make it whatever color you want. Um, for the reflect, we're gonna make this actually fairly light, okay? This will give it some reflections, and if you click this little show background in preview, you'll see how we now have reflections here, okay? Um, next, what we need to do is create a paint, because you know what kind of ornaments have, in my picture you can see, sort of little, little speckles in them, and, and usually it's like glass or glitter. So V-Ray actually has this awesome material called V-Ray Flakes, okay? So we're gonna click that, and then inside of our V-Ray Flakes material, we're gonna do Flakes Color, and make it um, very similar to the blue color we already have. So you can kind of see it's already there. All right, so we have a blue color and blue flakes, and we'll put this into coat two, and put this into base. Okay, so now we have this material, it's like small flakes inside of our paint. Now for our coat material, we wanna go to the flake, um, let's see here, the flake density, and maybe increase the density a bit, just so we get more flakes in our image here. And flake scale is about good where it is, but let's bring the size down to about 0.25, just to make our flakes a bit smaller here, okay? Now let's assign this to our main portion of the ornament. Now all we're gonna do is uh, copy this, or you can just shift drag it, okay? And shift drag it again. We're gonna change the major colors here, just to the red. So all you gotta do is just drag to the red, and go to flakes, and drag it to the red, okay? And assign that to the middle ornament. Actually, we'll, we'll keep it consistent with what we have, so we'll drag this one to the left ornament. Uh, the blue will be for the middle ornament. 
And then this one over here will be green. Okay, so let's just drag it to the green portion. Maybe make it a bit darker. And make these flakes uh, you know, sort of light green as well. And there we go. Perfect. So that'll do it for those materials. And the last material on our scope is going to be the um, gold material. Okay, so uh, we're going to again use a V-Ray blend material for this. Come over here. And first, the major portion of this will be a V-Ray material. So let's double click here. We'll just call this gold base. Okay, and for the reflect, we're going to actually use a uh, fall off map here, and this is the major portion of it. Okay, and inside of that fall off map, we're basically going to have two colors. Uh, the first of which is going to be sort of a you know, light, you know, sort of a cream color here, and the second is just going to be a just barely you know, sort of off white. All right, and then what we're going to want to do is go back into our main material and have the glossiness set at about 0.9. Okay, now if we turn on our background, as you can see, we're kind of getting this image right here. Uh, next, let us go to the Fresnel reflection. So uncheck this box. Actually, sorry, check this box. And we need to enable our Fresnel reflections. So simply uncheck the L here. And let's change this to about 80. And instantly you'll see like we have big changes here, okay? Uh, and in reflect color, you can also change this uh, to sort of a darker, darker color. We shouldn't do much because it's based off the map that we have. All right, and that should be about perfect for that portion of it. And let's make this the base, okay? So base material. Another thing we want to do is just change the index of refraction to 1.8. That'll help us out just a little bit here. And the final step will be to change this from blend to ward. That'll kind of give us this, you know, sort of shinier look. And actually, we're going to go in here and just maybe make this a bit darker. Okay. I was wondering what was wrong with it. Um, the last thing here is the diffuse color needs to go all the way to almost black. Perfect. There we go. So next, we're going to want to, again, use the flakes material that we have. So let's go and grab our flakes material. Okay, and this flake material will be just a very dark sort of, um, you know, sort of dark goldish color, just like that. And we'll change that to coat one. Okay, and those flakes are going to um, have the just the default. Um, the default is good. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to use this, just drag and drop it. So let's ungroup these ungroup and ungroup we're just going to select these bits right here and these will be our gold material okay assign to selection all right assign to selection and grab these last couple here there we go and assign to selection okay now, now for the background material um, we're just going to do a simple zero material here you can sort of give it um, you know, just an off-white color, maybe a bit of you know, sort of Christmassy orange to it, something like that. All right, and just assign it. All right, so there we go. Now we've got uh, the majority of the scene set up here. So let's uh, give it a quick test render here and see what it looks like. All right, so here we are. So it looks like we might need to adjust um, our materials just a little bit. So press M and your material editor will pop up. Let's go to the fall off map here and make it a little bit darker here. Okay, and make this a little bit darker too. Okay, just to darken up the velvet a little bit. Uh, the gold material actually looks really good. So that is perfect. Okay, now what we want to do is just add a couple little uh, Christmas lights in here. So let's actually we'll do that in the next part so i will see you guys in part number four